y'all to YouTube day. All right, let's get to work. Bags. What's up, y'all? So I'm trying to get better with my wigs because I understand that they looking busted. Okay, baby? So I got a better wig that's showing scalp, and I went ahead and learned the process for bleaching knots. So that is what we're doing right now. I hope this works. I think it worked a little bit. I like the result personally. I was a little nervous because I was like, I just didn't want anything to touch the hair, but I feel like it came out really well and it didn't mess up the wig. So I'm really grateful to have taken the time to learn. It was pretty easy. Hey, y'all. What's up? Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It's Danny. I'm on my Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean energy, and I'm putting this on, one, because I'm wearing like a red lingerie two-piece because I'm about to start work, but also, two, because this is the perfect piece between fall and summer, so that's exactly what we're doing. Summer is over, but I'm going to call this an extended summer because I know I'm not done with the vlogs, and I'm not ready to start fall. When I get into all the cute fall activities, I'll make sure I tag y'all along, but I'm going to just wear some warmer clothes and pretend it's still summer. <laughs> Because I actually have some stuff to do that I'm meant to do during summer. So I woke up this morning. First off, as y'all saw yesterday, I got another wig. And this is my first wig in a while. I bleached the knots. My friend helped me out with that. And I'm really grateful. Like, honestly, I got bills coming in, baby, as we all do. And when you got the bills rolling around by the hundreds, you're not thinking about getting new wigs. But what do I keep saying? I keep saying I'm going to improve my wigs. I see myself on camera looking ridiculous. <laughs> Trust me, I'm aware. I'm very self-aware. But that being said, you know, I just never went to go fix it. So I went to the store yesterday. I got a free mannequin head when I went to the store yesterday. Maybe that was a good sign. But went ahead and bleached. Ooh, <laughs> went ahead and bleached the knots the best I could. And I think that's definitely giving scalp. So I might install it. But I'm pretty physically active, so I might just throw it on. But this is a big improvement compared to my other stuff. It makes me want to throw away some of the wigs I kept now. <laughs> Because, I don't know. Anyways, I came to y'all today because I am not feeling the best. I woke up a little discouraged and stiff. If I ever feel like I woke up feeling, oh yeah, this is great. Woke up feeling a certain type of way. I make sure I try to stick to a morning routine. I don't do it every day. But the mornings I wake up and I know I don't feel good. Damn, my hair is thick. And I know I don't feel well. I usually drink water. I try to eat something. I try to stretch. I try to hop in the shower and actually do the morning things in the morning. And I'm trying to wake up earlier so I feel a little bit better. Oh, that's a lot of hair like that. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, this is gonna be cute. This is perfect for fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna finish up the summer shenanigans and then, oh, this wig cap kind of screaming though. Ooh, yikes, hold up y'all. I guess that's where makeup comes in. <laughs> Anyways, that being said, so I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I, Told y'all the situation with my car and stuff like that. And I had to realize I need to take a little accountability if I'm gonna choose to be with a partner who I feel like might not be right for me or is causing me financial strife in the moment. That's my choice. I'm grown at the end of the day. Damn, do I need to pull this further? Cause I can see everything. Hold up, we need to fix this. Anyways, I'm just playing around with it right now. But I need to take accountability for being with somebody and waiting on their potential, which is not fair for them either. And I didn't consider it their potential because I was just like, all right, get your things together so we can be great together. But that's not fair. That's a lot of, oh, well, that's too much forehead, though. All right, so maybe I need a brown cap, like a brown skin, because this one's too. Hmm. Maybe I got the wrong color. Oh, makeup, duh. Makeup, I forgot that part. Okay, all right. All right, anyways, <laughs> trying to give y'all an example. I'm gonna have to fix it, but it's a lot better. And it comes with the territory of having some quality wigs. 
I believe this is synthetic. Cost me like 70, but there was a 20% off deal. And I got a mannequin head, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, this is cute with some lashes and maybe my contacts. Oh, the undercarriage color is gorgeous. Ooh, yeah, this is cute. It's gonna be cute. It's gonna be a nice fall, y'all. I'm gonna have to put makeup on it, but this is cute. Oh, that's why they be stretching those caps and installing it. Oh, that's why I gotta properly install it and put it over my eyes and shit. Damn, I sweat a lot for that. I'm not even trying to do all that for real. How bad is it to have it over your regular hair? I just don't wanna do all that. Is my regular hair snitching? It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not and it should be okay. As long as I'm not moving it around too much, it should be fine. Y'all, your girl stay fit, so I'm just not trying to install it for real. I might call my friend and show her, cause she picked it out, she helped me pick it out. She was like, oh, this one's giving scalp. I was like, you are absolutely right. And I need to make better decisions with wigs. I woke up and I was like, what are you doing? There's other things I wanna do. I was supposed to write a whole song this summer. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Woke up feeling eh, but I'm inspired. I was looking at Bad Baby and Dochi. No negative or positive commentary. Actually with Dochi, <laughs> positive commentary all the freaking way. I love her. Anyways, I was on Snap and I was checking out a, one of those random stories and it was talking about Bad Baby and how she became famous and how she started the OnlyFans and made 52 million and then bought a big ass mansion in Florida and a big ass car. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like, and you know no hate no hate this is like i said not negative or positive it's just wow wow you made an only fans and made 52 million dollars that has to be from fame because when you're a small town sex worker you're not making 52 mil baby i'm letting you know i only find you making 52 mil maybe i'm doing something wrong I don't know, maybe I'm doing something very, very much wrong. <laughs> this wig is sexy. I might go back for the blonde one. Ugh, I didn't even want to spend the, the 60 on this one, but when you invest in yourself, I always tell y'all to invest in yourselves. When you do, it pays off. This is pretty. This is really pretty. It's the undercarriage too. Like it's this gentle hazel type of color. Whew, yeah, this is really sexy. I'm feeling myself. Okay, okay. Anyways, yeah, and as far as Doshi, she had posted a reel yesterday and it showed her like working in an office and it was behind this audio of like, you're scared to try something new because you'll think you'll be bad at it, but you have to be bad at it to get better. You have to keep getting better to be great at it. Like, and then it showed her working in the office and then performing and really blowing up. And I've loved her like for a minute. So it was just really inspiring to see both stories, to be honest. People get famous however they get famous, whether you gotta grind from the bottom or you know, you have a moment that just is your big viral break, whatever it is. <sighs> We're not gonna sit here and pretend it don't help. And I know it comes with a lot of consequences and a lot of other concerns and a lot of criticism, but <laughs> the coin, that could change me and my family's life. And I'm willing to put up with those consequences if that's the case. So, you know, if it means not seeing me or my people struggle, I'll put up with it. I'll put up with the internet hate. I'll put up with the criticisms and the shaming and everything else. If it means I can get my family right. But yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the way. Oh, she's definitely giving scalp. Oh, people are gonna be surprised because I'm not known for good wigs. I might have to lay it though, because once I cut it, it's gonna keep moving. But like, that's cute. That's cute with the, with the hazel contacts. And some lashes. I got my KPI 155s and I got another pair I want to try. Oh, oh, this is so cute. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I'm about to go work and sit on live in my cute little two piece and work on my song. And then I'll probably make salmon and rice later. And then I'm going to go visit my family. Not a bad day. Energy is just neutral. And I'm going to get better. I'm going to feel better for sure. Also, I'm trying to step up my style page. I'm going to be ordering two dresses. My ex's birthday is coming up. That's another reason I was torn about the car. I was like, damn. Or maybe I just need to set boundaries and say, hey, listen, yeah, the car is back, but you got to keep up with the system we got. Like, I know you want to come home, but, you know, like, the car is going through it. He is working. I am going to speak some love and positivity into him. He is working, like, seven days a week. He's going to school on the weekends, and he's working through the week. And he's talking about wanting to move into a townhouse together before he wanted to move alone. 
So of course I was like, well, damn, use me for all I got this year and then, you know, go on your own, I guess, do whatever. Not gonna lie, I had an attitude because <laughs> I was like, damn, like you should have moved on your own this year and then I should have probably did shit on myself and gotten used to that, you know, but now he's talking about on his own. I don't coerce anybody, but on his own, he's talking about wanting me to move in with a townhouse with him. He's supposed to start trucking it on the road and he keeps talking about writing me a person and asking if I would be interested in that. And I'm like, damn, do I chase my own dreams or do I just follow along because you make my coochie feel good? Like, is that what we're doing? <laughs> and of course, feel good in other ways. Like, I told y'all, he'll go put Adventure Time on over high or my favorite cartoon because he's taking the time to study me. And he really has changed. But this really is the clarity we both need. So I'm gonna mind my business and I will talk to y'all later. I'm gonna go cam. Oh, I'm gonna go work on my song too. So I will let y'all know how that's going. My friend also helped put me on to an engineer and took me to the studio over summer, which was really inspiring. Like that was a vibe. The studio was a vibe, baby. For anybody who's been, I'm sure you know, I felt like I was in a whole different dimension. It was all the lights and the buttons. <laughs>